disgusting! Hello, ladies, chins, and ball sack slurpers. We return back to back. Let's do it. Jump on top of this shrine, cleanse the disgusting garbage that is animating it. I guess they are the souls of the lost soldiers of the place, and they clung to the shrine where they got sacrificed, and then they were like, we outie, and just animated the entire shrine, went away. I'm trying to find a way up this giant pile of garbage. I must be honest, I forgot that this existed. All right, there's also that uh, area with the Crucible Knight. Let's do it. Nah, I'm not gonna fight fair. I'm like, let me just run up to him and fight fair. Absolutely not. Hush up! Oh, this is a... Oh, jeez. I, I have not turned on the, the UI. And it doesn't even show the... the um, uh, uh, lock-on icon. We're going to fight this no UI because I am just that powerful. I am not intimidated. Probably. Ooh. Yeah, okay. he's, he's half health. Woo! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is the edge. No! I'm dead. <laughs> he didn't win. Gravity won. How dare you even suggest that he actually beat me? No. Gravity won against me every time I forget to turn on the stupid interface. So, uh, I'm actually being able to see what the hell is happening. Ridiculous. This is going over here, going on auto. All right, we go straight to where our souls are at. When I say souls, I meant runes. Uh, okay, I somehow I completely missed this area over here. I don't know how this happens. Human bone shard. That's a completely new crafting item. Human, you would think, you would think, I would have found found human bone shards at some point before now. But no! Is this another? Yeah. Let's go down, huh? This is not the start. Yeah, I, I, I want to go down there, but very interesting that that option exists. We will go into that coffin and find out what is at the bottom of this. Probably will just take us back to freaking Siofra River, a third different area. I really thought... I honestly did think Lane Dell was just the natural progression, but it seems like there's also a different area to go to. All right, you filthy crucible knight. I am full of hatred for you. You are actually named. You're just gonna get trounced this time around where I'm actually seeing the interface and I am not going to roll back like an idiot. Hey, how about I get myself out? I should have started this buff. Right, just a just a basic. Damn it! I went to the lengths of uh, holy crap. That's a lot. I went to the lengths of memorizing this spell. He does a shitload of damage. <laughs> Ow! Stop, please. He's gonna grow wings now. The filthy dragon impersonator over here. No dragon? No dragon wings? Oh, I see. You were just waiting to totally catch me off guard. You would think. Ow. I wanted to roll forward, please. Holy crap. No! No! Don't do it! <laughs> Flee! Flee in a very manly way! Oof! Appear to have underestimated you slightly. But we're almost there. Just need to land one more jump attack. There you go. I don't know why I was so intimidated. That was easy. <laughs> 25,000 runes. And we get Silurius Tree. At least describe it to me. Skills with faith. 
Silurius Woe is the special attack. Silurius three weapon of the one of the two honored and foremost among the Crucible Knights. The primordial form of the Erd Tree is close in nature to life itself. And this spear, modeling, un, modeled on its crucible, is imbued with ancient holy essence. No, no, no. I want R. There. Requires 27th strength. Pretty fat. Pretty neat. Still. It's like a spear mace. That is a pretty long range attack, but it does use a ton of fupu. Alright, well, not terribly interested. No, that is not what I meant to do. I meant to heavy scythe. Yeah, the wind scythe. I have not gone to do anything yet. Any upgrades or nothing. Yeah, this is what you were guarding, weren't isn't it? Is there a dead baby in this chest? Try armor. What? Ooh, is this more fashion? Ooh, baby. Those are some good looking pieces of equipment. I think that I cannot wield it right now with the current equip load, especially that helmet looks heavy as hell. I can wield it though. Gorgeous. Truly majestic. How about the armor? That's cool as hell. That's some really cool armor. Very nice. Let's roll with this for a while. I mean, it doesn't really match doesn't really match butthole style. Let me just put on something a little more stylish. That is a terrible rag. Disgusting. Anyway. Oh, yeah, look, even the colors match. Amazing. Love it. It just looks back from the back, though. Let me put on some better threes. These are pretty good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh! Oh, butthole's outfit. She's ready to slay. Let's grab this uh, glove worked. Maybe there's an item at the back of this. No, and some amazing nascent butterflies. We love them. All right, so. Have we gone to the top of that shrine? I believe so. Let's find out. If we have been to the top of the shrine. Woo! We have not been to the top of the shrine. I feel a little ashamed that I didn't try before. Nice. Not gonna complain. Woo! And I'm pretty sure this is it. It's another disgusting knight over there. We're just going to go down this way. Filthy scary. Every time I do it a little too early. Very hardy, very hardy. Don't do it. Alright, level 6 is nice. Probably this is going to end in tears. Yeah, you probably don't want to keep going here. <laughs> How about this area? No, no, no! No! Whee! Try again. That was so dumb. Pretty sure there was nothing on that end. Let's go up this way now. Let's go down. Also, this this weirdo with the bow probably is going to make my life really hard. Wow. Every time, there's never anything good. It's just bait. Anytime you go to the dam... Oh, oh, this is where we wanted to be. Whee! Woohoo! Excellent. Destroy! This damn souls that animate the shrine. Parasites! Get them all out. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think that I want to go far this way. Let's go to the other side. I'm going to make this... Uh, excuse me! What the... <laughs> it was on the way down. <laughs> oh, jeez. You startled the shit out of me, brother. Open that up, and if anything can be duplicated, we're gonna. Oh, that's right, I lost my runes, I forgot about that. <laughs> because uh, each one is different. No, they are... I can put any here. What the hell? Remembrance of the Blood Lord, but, but, but... 
But I already spent this one. That's so odd. And I already spent this one too. You just get it back? I don't know. Anyway, I wanted both of these and I wanted both the start scorch for sure. So let's start here. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Well, amazing. Let's go get my runes back. That was really dumb. It was 80 something thousand. I ain't going to leave that behind. I'm gonna get it. Very weird. All the guys that were here are gone. After killing the Crucible Knight? Is that how it works? That is so bizarre. All those souls. Maybe they were being kept trapped by the shrine. The walking shrine. That is so odd. Never made that connection. It's like there are ghosts either guarding or animating the shrine or both. Some interesting lore going on there. That I am too stupid to decipher. I mean, they are connected somehow because they disappear. Once you put the shrine to rest, that's about it. That's about uh, as much as I can tell you with my short brain imbecility. That's too bad. The they do drop some really cool armor. Uh oh. Okay, it's not dead. <laughs> I think we're done. This is the shore area. Oh no no, we never went over to this tower over here. Feels like you shouldn't bring that the shrine until you have done everything there is to do because they do drop some good loot mausoleum soldier ashes how exciting more ashes it feels like the game has way more ashes that you could possibly need like who runs through so many well, I appear to be done. Another Somber Smithing Stone 6. Happy to have it. I'm going to call it as done. We teleport back. We're going to do the most safest and exciting extreme sport. Coughing, coughing falling. I am an extreme practicer of coughing falling. Where I, when, wherein you strap yourself into a coffin has to be made of stone. If it's not stone, it's not extreme. And you throw yourself down a waterfall. Butthole uh, appears to exhibit no doubt whatsoever about shoving herself into a stone coffin at the edge of a waterfall. Brave and stunning. That's butthole. And off we go. <laughs> Perfectly safe mode of transportation. There's no magic involved in this one. The, remember how the other one just magically was pulled on the, the energy cloud that was uh, brought up very gently all the way to the top? This one just drops like a stone, literal stone, all the way down to the Siafra River well. You just come out. Oh, yeah, that was a fun time. Look at her hair. Slightly disheveled. <laughs> Good times. So, are we in the same place that we were? Or is this an entirely different area? I am so curious. It just seems to be introduced as a completely different area. Ainsel River, Maine. What? How did that even happen? This does not match. I was up here. I was over here. That makes no sense. I mean, uh, if it's an underground river that comes all the way here, okay, I accept it. This does seem, hopefully, I'm hoping. No, oops. <laughs> I thought it went all the way to the waterfall. Come on. <laughs> Freaking Elden Ring. Damn you, Miyazaki. Damn you. Anyway. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's a good, beautiful, 
experience going down the waterfall. And the, you see, the problem is I didn't have a coffin to protect me. That was the real problem. If I had been inside a stone coffin, that fall would have been perfectly reasonable. It would just be a nice tumble down. What you got? Lovable sword to head. Offer hope, but be wary of something. If only I had treasure. And then try seed? Are you speaking of my beautiful waifu? The blind eyeball muncher? Whose name I have never bothered to learn? Because I have been curious, where did she go? I'm seeing something awful over there. Oh, jeebus. <laughs> I'm seeing some nasty, undulating monstrosity over there. And I am not looking forward to it. Can I ride? Nope. No rider for me. Alright, well. Let's face whatever undulating creature. Oh, that's the thing that was in the Siofra River. Right, right, right. So we're gonna face that thing again, huh? Hello, crusty boy. Hello, crusty boy. You're, you take quite a beating, don't you? I don't know why I'm attacking them. It's so silly. They're the... I think they are the most boring enemy in all of Elden Ring, right? The, the slow-walking crusty boys. Woohoo! Palace ruins. Are you different and exciting or are you exactly the same threat? I think that they're exactly the same threat. It's fine. I accept it. We banished it to the Siofra Shadow Realm. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Let me continue just looting. That's me. I'm a dirty looter. What is the deal with that disgusting plant? Anyway, I have no reason to avoid getting close to this one, right? I can just get close and murder it? What's your problem? Only in rune 7. How exciting. Hello, Mr. Krusty Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's reachable. Stop with the rolling. Freaking weirdos. I'm going to super buff. Ah! Even Flame Grandy's strength. That's how much we're gonna put on. Hopefully, there will be an instant murdering of this creature. Hello, boy. Can you just kill me if I stand right next to you? Not really. Hey, aren't you a handsome fella? Die! Yeah. Oh! Oh, you have incredible mandible attacks. And now you're dead. <laughs> Pathetic! That's right. Flow into me. Your essence belongs to me. Another Somberstone. Nice. All the upgrades I could possibly want. Ignore the crusty boys. Uh, I am sensing. I can just feel it. One of those itinerant merchants is somewhere nearby. I can just tell. Freaking merchants, they pick the absolute worst areas. This is a try fire. Be wary of bug. Here's the way forth, or perhaps some kind of exit somewhere. We're not done yet. We're going to go back and make certain every piece of loot is exhausted. It's odd, because this place feels a lot less threatening than the place I just came from. Why am I going for this glove work? It makes no sense. Let me fupu myself. Do I feel spicy enough for a rune arc? I do seem to die all the time, just dropping. Can't help myself. I love being uh, nice and fat with my rune arcs. All right, let's see what that lies at the bottom of this. Hopefully it won't just be... A disgusting carnivorous plant is something a little bit more exciting here other than this plant. It's just a plant. <laughs> That's 
uh, quite a lot of damage though. But uh, they're all so fat. Oh, that's frenzy shit. That is respectable. Why couldn't you just be poison? Frenzy is annoying. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's more crusty boys. Frenzy is obnoxious because we have to wait it out. I can't just walk in there and get frenzied like an idiot. Hey, Therolina, please answer my call. Eh? Eh? No? No, no! <laughs> Let me set it on fire. Kind of reset. What is this flailing? Foolishness. Oh wait, uh, uh, the frenzy is building up. Didn't realize it. There, nice. It's so nice to have this puppet. Well, I have been uh, consumed by madness. <laughs> it's really not that bad. Good job, Therolina. You're a real friend whom I have forced to help me. This is probably just death, right? Uh-huh. Oh, but I see loot. Clayman ashes. Oh, the most exciting of ashes. Amazing. Now get me out of here. Down the chute with all the ants probably will end up at the river well that we already know. I think I'm going to a lot one more for put charge. I start feeling a little bit more confident throwing rocks at my enemies. And, uh, you know, give me uh, myself a vote of confidence that I'm not going to have to exhaust my health replenishment. Okay, so are you also a joke? Like the ones down in the Sea Ophra that we already saw? Kinda. Not as laughable. Ah, these have wings. The ones with wings are more powerful. They can buzz their way. No, maybe not. Maybe they're just trash. I see the hammerhead weirdo. I respect you. Yeah, that is a decent pile of damage. Let me see if I can grab you in the balls. To the encounter of me wielding a scythe. Damn, that was so uh, powerful. <laughs> ah, please, no. Don't do it. Don't take away my beautiful rune arc. Ha shot. A path down there into the dark, skittering depths. I would rather take this other path. Grace ahead. A little bit more. Oh, beautiful shit. Amazing. This connects with Nocron some way. Oh, this is... Oh. Noxtella. The other city. It's, a, it's yet another place. <laughs> I thought that the Lane Dell. I'm going to teleport back to the Lane Dell. Um, actually, let me go back. I'm pretty sure it's just a stairwell going down. Gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's just a ladder going down. All right, so I can grab the side of Grace, so I can simply teleport all the way back here. You know, completely obviating the size of the map. Who cares about the size of the map? Uh, that guy is riding an ant. This sacrilege, this disgusting violation of the natural order cannot be condoned. You weirdo! Disgusting! You don't ride ants. You just, it's just not done. It offends me. All right, we're going to go down the skittering dark depths. I'm gonna be right there. Extremely intimidating little path over here. 
some really nasty bodies leading up to it. Shall we find the ant queen? What is going on? You're an enemy. Do I do violence? Uh -huh. Palace ruins. What is your deal? You know what? On second thought, don't even tell me! Interesting. Oh, he has a rock to throw at him. <laughs> rude. Extremely rude. Absolute freaking weirdos everywhere I look. Always surrounded by absolutely disgusting people. Why can't I just be adventuring through a normal fantasy land full of dwarves, elves, kender, maybe a couple orcs? If you want to get sp spicy, you can introduce some furries. But that's it. No more giant super ants being ridden by conehead weirdos. Sick of it. Give me whatever you got. Belongs to me now. Wing of Astel. It's an actual weapon. Seems like a bow. I think that's it. That's the entirety of the place. I was down there, right? That's where we killed the thing. Oh, this is the top of the Siofra, the actual Siofra well. Interesting. I can't get back up. Can I? Well, never mind. <laughs> Ainsel River. Siofra and Ainsel, there are the two, the two rivers in this damn place. Well, amazing. We have gone for circle, full circle. Now, I have two missions. I must go. Oh, I also need to talk to Rani since I grabbed whatever the hell was at the bottom of Nocron. Let me talk to the guy that upgrades things. Maybe he'll have something to say. Let's talk to Rani. I got that strange knife thingy. So many people to talk to about. What I'm really interested in is using my level 7 Somberstone. My fellow. You need not await, Blythe. Yeah, I already went down there. He was nowhere to be seen. Fallen stars and make it yours. The precious who that lady Rani make. Okay, okay. Do you have something new to sell? No. Strength in Ironmans. Hey, Somber Smithing Stone 7. Is it a massive upgrade? No, but it's a decent upgrade. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some other stuff that I've been carrying. Upgrading as much as I can. There's the God Slayer Greatsword. Also, it scales with faith. This is my weapon. Makes sense. There's also all this thing that I... That I have been upgrading. I actually have a 7, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I got. Level 6? I don't know if I want to spend my 7 on this one. Uh, I was playing around with this one because it also scales with faith and it's a badass weapon. It's a lot heavier, though. I love just using different weapons all the time, just switching back and forth. Let's put it on, in fact. My poor dismounter has been left behind by my inability to find more level 3 smithing stones. Let's see. Take that off. Put on medium load still. It's a badass super curve sword. It's like a freaking truck and it's just a, a really cool moveset too. Alright, also want to put some levels. Probably want to push this up to 50 and never, ever, ever touch it again. And then we'll just start pumping that strength like crazy. So let's do that. Put Vigor to 50 eventually. I am very interested to see what Ronnie has to say. Also, freaking weirdo syllabus. Since we had... What was her name? Selen's... Soul. Maybe he'll have something interesting to say as well. Let's talk to Rani. Might she still be a lifeless doll? Ah, 
Ah. It was thee. Yeah. Not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? Indeed. The hidden treasure of Nokron. If you shed my some thanks. clothes, I'll show it to you. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Do you want it, or is this just a matter of me having it? Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust you. don't even want this. it. You just need it to be removed from Nokron. Carry an inverted statue. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I like how Elden Ring gets away with NPCs for his part. not lip syncing and instead going Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, that's all that they're actually saying. What is it? I too am to... All right, Ronnie, you're on your own quest. I, un I understand. Show me this key item. The upside down Cardian inverted statue. Statuette of a scholar with ground and sky inverted. Reveals the hidden form of the Carrion study hall, which connects to the divine tower. To unveil the secret, affix it to the pedestal of the celestial globe. Remember that weird place that we got all the way to the top and we were like, the hell's going on here? There's a dead end. What is this bullshit? And uh, it turns out we needed something from Ronnie. Alrighty, let's go talk to her perverted underling. I am sure he'll have nothing but wholesome things to say. Here we are in the Mistshroud Tower of Selivus. Selivus, my bad. Begging for another lesson so soon. Ugh, there remains much to... Amber Starlight. Procure it for me. The rather unique starlight shard that glistens with amber. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness. And even a demigod would be slave to its charms. They're slightly uh, disturbing. But I will obtain my last puppet from you. Dolores the Sleeping Arrow puppet. Yes, you can have all my starlight shards. And now my collection is complete. <laughs> I need you for nothing else. I can actually attack you. Totally attack you. Let me give you the butthole love tap. There you go. Nice punch. So you know who's boss. What else? Pedia? Oh no, I already seen that. Uh, just in case there's something we're selling, I'm going to go to the... Then I already did that. Going to the basement, see if the selling heart activated and I could put it somewhere. Either way, I'm going to try. Here we are again in the creepy basement. Maybe I can insert this heart and give Selen a new body. I don't think this is it, though. But, you know, it's worth trying. Pretty sure. That's nothing to do with this entire nonsense. Yeah. Nothing to be done. Wonder, wonder what that quest is all about. What I'm supposed to do with it. Well, that's done. Is there anything else that I wanted to do? I don't think so. Divine Bridge. Oh! I actually need to go back through... Fia's little teleportation thingy. Let's do that. I want to see whether the Lanedell... Teleporter... Is uh, the way forward or it's just a little loot cabin that we can grab. Let's find out. Should be pretty damn easy. Across the roots. If you had the death of the companion still here. It's her just just her new location. Amazing. Grab that teleporter and we'll just explore whatever's on the other side. I'm looking forward to it. Don't want to mess with Noxtella just yet. That will come uh, the next episode, I think. Depends on how long this Lanedale nonsense is. Lanedale, royal capital. 
Let's do some business. Can I bless? The I very much doubt that I can bless this at all. No. I can't do the Blessings Boon because that's just a buff on me. But I cannot uh, give holy damage to this weapon. Alright. Magic Grease. Was there any other path on this side? There's a staircase up. Probably with a beautiful... Are you an enemy? Yes, you are. N attack! Cursed! <laughs> Alrighty then. I mean, this looks actionable, I know. That does lead to the bottom. Idiots! I love how it sets everybody on fire. It is a freaking side of grace. I really love the ambiance too, very good music. Cool track. Okay. Attack! Yeah, I don't think this is a loot cabinet. This is just... The way to Landale. Weird. Let me go the other way. Maybe there's a nice path. So it's just a, a matter of choice. Which one do I want to do? I feel much more... Like doing Noxtella. Simply because... I don't want to get to the capital without actually traversing the overland world into the capital. That just doesn't seem right to me. Feels like a, a bit of a cheat. Even though... I guess you would find this... Earlier that you would just ride into the capital. It's, it's bizarre. Oh. Oh. This is a way down, I suppose. Let me just destroy all the reserves of stuff. Give me the path down. We'll see. It's just a, a forking... Capital outskirts. Forking path here, all right. Well, yeah, I don't want to do the freaking capital. It's a, f it's a thought wall then already, huh? Lo, 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 lo. Fine, we'll go through the fog wall, fight whatever's behind it. It's kind of seems to be leading outside, though. What the hell's going on? Go through the fog wall. That's the la Oh, oh. It's not a fog wall at all. It's, in fact, a literal wall. I can't go out. Alrighty then. Well, it's just weird. It's just strange. Just magically sealed. Nuxtella it is. I don't wanna. I don't wanna do lane dill this way. How did you even even reach that place? It was it was this place, this area over here. <laughs> River Main, Nuxtella Eternal City. Let's do it. To Nuxtella and all the incredible wonders that we may find within. Where the hell is Blade? He was supposed to meet me in this damn place. All he did was just leech off my labor. Maybe he got it. Maybe he got all held up with all kinds of monsters. Set them on fire! Love it. Gursht! <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of this weapon. I was playing around with it a little while. And it doesn't hit as hard as, you know, a jump attack from those dual scythes, but it's a pretty brutal tool of destruction. And it will be fun to dual wield it with the Bloodhound Fang or something like that. But of course I will nearly need to get naked for that to work out because they are super heavy weapons. Feels like the fire sets anybody with cloth on fire it gives them a nice stagger that absolutely destroys them beautiful move check out my move bitch how about i set you on fire 
Yes, yes, continue dodging into the fire. Very smart of you. Idiot! Ow. You're dead. Absolute buffoon. Open that up. Give me your treasure! What is this? And skull plate. That's a shield. Not you want to see it, brother. Sure, sure, I do want to see it. I want to see the description of this thing. Chopped off head of an ant. They dried it and then they used it as a shield. Huge head of one of the giant ants, which inhabit the two underground rivers used without modification as a shield. Excels at repelling enemy attacks. You see, you cut off the, the neck and then you stuff your hand into the neck and that's how you hold on to the thing. There's an inside thing you grab onto the mandible. Disgusting. Shame on you, Nox people. You're gross. Well, looking forward to more incredible adventures here. Noxtella. I really like the name, Nocron and Noxtella. I guess they're like twin cities of the Nox. It's a comment saying that they were... They are... Uh, a population of what is going on here? What is this nightmare monstrosity? Throw rocks at it. Anything you don't know, throw rocks at it. Make it go away. Let that be a life lesson. Anytime you encounter something you don't enjoy, you don't understand, find the biggest rock and destroy it with it. It will give you peace of mind. And it didn't deserve to live anyway. Because it didn't fit within your mental parameters. Oh, you're, you're shielded, alright? Are you shielded against this? Kinda. Haru! The burst! Or shame. Or shame. I'm really uh, using brute force here. Let me just. Uh, get away from this. Damn blobs! I thought I was done! With this silly, silly blob menace. But no! This damn weirdos, Ghost Glove War Pickers bull bearing number two. Not something I'm terribly interested in. Ashes are kind of lame, but I will upgrade all my actual puppets. Those are fun to use. And I feel like it's, it's like it's within the lore that I created for Butthole. She doesn't really like summoning ashes, but she can't resist having these uh, slaves, you know. And her beck and call. Because the difference is that she knows they are like actual people with free will. That she has en enslaved. And that gives her a lot of sexual gratification. Just like Syllabus. I see. There is a blob. I never have enough blob. It's a door? It's not a door. I hear something rolling. That spells disaster for me. I don't want to go in there. Well, then room 10. Stair going up. I don't trust you. Ah! <laughs> Filth. Filth everywhere. Nothing else here. Just open the thing. Give me the treasure, baby. Nice. We love somber stones. I would rather have regular stones. It would be nice to have level 7 regular stones, but I do appreciate the capability to uh, upgrade every one of my items. Ooh. Yes, I spend every gate that I see. Another cathedral full of idiots. Death! Ah, yes, very intimidating. Actually, that's extremely intimidating. My bad. I apologize. I apologize for interrupting your time of prayer. Please continue communing with your deity, whichever the description of your deity may be. 
I would rather never disturb you again. I lied. I just wanted you dead. Well, I can't destroy it. It's probably this is loot. Yeah. It's a lot of chests here. Appreciate it. Night maiden and sorceress puppets. Incredible. Amazing. I don't think there's anything else to be gained by coming this way. Just jump out. Hoopla. It seems that the episode is coming to an end. Noxtella and its all its secrets shall be revealed. Oh, there's a giant ball coming down though that staircase. Pretty sure it's another sentient ball. Ready to crush me under its weight. It is aiming toward me. Love it. I I openly endorse this enemy existing and you may uh, say Blargo you just bitch and moan so much about the blobs but you like the ball make up your dumbass mind look ascension ball with the intention to murder me is leagues ahead please stop is leagues ahead of a shapeless blob this gives me geometrical nightmares don't you understand I like how the metal ball is being set on fire. Stupidest enemy. Alright, Labertier. <laughs> Incredible. Alright, well, well, we'll carry on exploring this fantastic underground city. Really like the vibe of it. Very neat. Butthole shall remain. Oh, I really like would like to find a side of grace though that would be the best place to leave it i don't want to have to come back here because i do enjoy going around okay how you people die i do enjoy testing weapons in between episodes and doing upgrades and all that oh it's a ball turns out that my incredible fire damage super sword is very good uh, the tearing this super ball out. Kill the super ball! Seems like if I didn't have my fire weapon equipped, that would have been a much bigger disaster. All these people extremely horrified at me looting this. Suck it, bitches! Nothing you can do about it. I wonder if there will be a side of grace. I really appreciate it. Eh, I'll just walk back. Who the hell cares? Hopefully, it's been a good time. Sure, enjoy my time in Elden Ring. This game continues to expand over and over and over and over. It never ends. This map, it, it, I would not doubt it that this son of a bitch is still going to expand further north and further east. Look at the size of this thing. It's been almost 90 hours. I mean, I haven't recorded the whole thing, but it's been almost 90 hours of gameplay. And it's not even half the map. You absolute mad lap me, Yazaki. See you guys in the next one. Until then, do not lose your courage. <laughs>